So over the last couple days, I've been testing my Nikon ZR and the Panasonic S12 to compare the images of both cameras uh, because I own both of them and I think they're the best releases of 2025. I accidentally landed on something interesting yesterday when it came to the way that both of these cameras process RAW and how they're developed in DaVinci Resolve. Uh, clearly the elephant in the room and what everyone's been saying is how bad the ProRes RAW is in the Lumix system, uh, in particular the S12, I'm not sure about the other ones. There's this weird magenta and teal shift happening in the skin tones and in the sky. And I think I found the culprit, but I'm not too sure because this isn't a scientific explanation. Uh, but the image that I'm currently able to get out of ProRes RAW is drastically different from what I used to get when I didn't know what I currently know now. It brings the image out of the S12 much, much closer to the image of the Nikon ZR, and it uh, grounds the colors in a much more natural and usable way. Here's what I think is going on. Now, you might see the colors a little bit differently because this is a screen recording, and so you're not gonna see the full you know, 12-bit expansion of the color space. Um, on YouTube, but you might see some of it, right? Here's what I think is going on. Um, you see how in the natural Panasonic colors, uh, when you're developing them in DaVinci Resolve, I think there's some kind of overcompensation happening, which is turning the skin tone into a magenta space and the skies into a cyan space. And probably all the hues altogether are being shifted uh, and overcompensated for. I can tell because when I bypass the colors and I completely remove the input color space from Panasonic, I get somewhere that looks a lot more natural to real life. You might say that this is a little bit greenish, uh, especially from the screen recording, but for my eyes, this looks a lot closer to what really it looked like in real life because you have to remember the lights are bouncing from the blades of grass and everything that's green in the environment. So naturally, my son's skin tone is supposed to reflect some of that green back, right? So his, his colors are gonna look a lot more green. If I go into my red footage, right? I didn't do any corrections on these. This is just straight up CSD from red space to DaVinci into Rec. 709. You can see that in the red footage, uh, the skin tones are naturally a little bit on the green side, right? Um, because, well, one, the reflection of the sand going right back into the skin tones. There's a lot of green happening behind me and around us, which is reflecting in the skin tones. And then there's a nice regular natural blue sky in addition to the water, right? That's all going to reflect. This is a natural red image. It looks, it's very pleasing to the eye. So what I think is going on is either when you're importing into DaVinci, the color space has already been applied. And so when you are, you know, applying the CST, it's overcompensating and doubling down on the shift of the hues. Or if I switch it to into a magenta space, a naturally more magenta space, you get much better skin tones, right? Like the Canon color space transform applied to the ProRes RAW footage is giving me way closer to the skin tone line. Like, look at this. Where when I switch back into the Panasonic, I'm shifting way more into the magenta space, okay? So only Lumix and DaVinci really know what's going on, but my theory is there's an overcompensation happening. And my suggestion is that when you're working with ProRes RAW to either bypass the entire color space altogether not the input gamma, the gamma is different, right? The gamma controls like the lighting and the distribution of that lighting, but the, the color space itself is the shifting of the hues and the colors. Either you go into a Canon color space, which gets you into a natural area, although like the skies still shift into teal, or you completely bypass the color space and you go straight into DaVinci Resolve, which I prefer this. I prefer these colors way more because as a, as a base, if you were to take this, and let's say you did think it was a little too green, this is so much more easier to correct in post, right? You can take the skins and you just drag them back into a more magenta space, like very subtly, right? 
this is so much easier to do than to go into a teal and magenta space and then having to correct this, right? Now you wanna correct this back into orange and then you wanna correct this back into blue. And it can get real messy really fast by trying to correct this way. Um, because this, these aren't the only hues, the magenta and the, the blues aren't the only hues being affected by that color space transform. You also have to consider the greens, you have to consider the yellows, you have to consider the, the, the pinks, the purples, all these other colors are being shifted it's much easier to just start with a better base. Now, once again, this isn't scientific. I don't have the charts. I don't have the tools to be able to measure this. But if you are using ProRes RAW and you are wondering why ProRes RAW looks so much different than the Nikon ZR Red RAW, it's because of the interpretation of the color space. Like I'd work with this 10 out of 10 times more than I would work with this. This feels weird. He looks sick. Um, the sky looks way too teal. It's very unpleasing, unsettling. But when you switch into something that looks more like real life, it's so much better. Uh, I'm not gonna make this video too long, but here are a couple more examples, right? Regular Panasonic interpretation of ProRes RAW. And this is the bypass. This is so much better. This, this feels like red raw to me. It's closer to it. It's not red raw obviously it's a lot closer because of the the way that the, the skin tones look like right and i've done this with like a ton of clips a ton of clips let me go into right here expand this just a little bit increase the saturation i'm going to do it i'm going to do it like the quick and dirty way but yeah you see and this is all by bypassing if i switch back Right, so this is by bypassing the colors. Look at where the skin tone sits, orange. If I switch this into Panasonic again, now nah, we get into this weird teal and magenta space. Looks very unnatural. Back and forth. Yeah, so that's that. 